Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Galactic Science 2. So, and this episode, well, we were going to do the um, end zone and decompose that, weren't we? So I think we're going to start with that one because I really do need to get these, just a few more blitz of cable, about six I think. And we can also make some dye as well because we use red but Fluix will connect to that. So here I've got to this under pull and machine frame, they're still ticking away. But also in my inventory here, you can see three atomic manipulators and a bu bu bucket of blazing pyrothium. Well, I'll show you what that's for straight away. Because what we're going to do in this episode, also, I hope if we've got time, is to fully automate this. Now, what I've done between episodes is built a whole load more um, transfer nodes of type fluid. And there's a trick here, I'll show you this. You can take your crescent hammer here. If I and break this one, let's break it and break this one here like this, and break that and then put those together in fact let's do it on here as well because that's probably the easiest place to show yeah, if that's set, so they on fire, including me get out of the way, so when you put these down first of all, they join up let's just get those onto there like that like this, and what you do is you take your crescent timer and you hit them so that they sort of that this sort of pattern is sort of three lines are pointing opposite direction from where you want them to go so one click that basically disconnects here and here which is not what I want at all but I don't want the fl I don't want it to go in that way I only want it to come down here like that so that's the pattern you need so it's actually two clicks and it'll do that for you same here two clicks and it'll break the thing through and so everything just comes down in that way now have I got anything with me that I can prove that? Yeah, we'll go and get some. I actually also want a bucket of water for that, don't I? So let's do that as well. So one bucket of water and some. Oops, get the right way. Water. Let's select that. I only want one bucket of water. And so I want some glowstone. If I can see it which I can't because I'm blind. Where has it gone to? Oh, right, we'll tap it in. Take a stack of glowstone. I really don't need very many. What you can do with glowstone is you can put this into, into a transfer node. And when you put it into a transfer node, and we'll do that, we'll start over here like that. Put this one in here, one glowstone. I'll put it at the end, actually. When you do that, it'll show you the path that things are going. So you see it's going down there, but also, yeah, that's fine. You can do that in the transfer in the fluid nodes as well. So if you're not sure, put a bit of glowstone in like that. And you can watch it traveling down. Well, you should be able to. Whenever lava is ready, it will travel down. So let's just put some more into this one like that. And in a few seconds, there you go. That's one going that way. And there's the blue ones going down there like that. That means one bucket of lava has travelled into the, into here. Also, I brought the uh, um, jelly carothium in here so I could get some snow if I need it, which I don't really want if I can avoid it. So what we're going to do now is to make this bucket of water, put it on here like that, and then we've got our obsidian generation going on again. I'll just hit that. So it's oh no, it's not nothing. Oh, you can see it's 109. And it's picked up these because, of course, I haven't got a filter on that and it's gone through the chest. Let me... Oh, I can leave them in there. Doesn't matter, does it? In fact, I want a couple of these. What we want to do next is to automate the generation of cobblestone. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, yeah, I've got two pieces. Now, cobblestone, as you know, is made like this. So we'll take one piece of... Uh, I'll take the carbon out of here as well. One piece of silicon dioxide, and that'll go to 16 silicon and manganese oxide. Let's just get rid of these because I'm going to put these away somewhere. Uh, magne magnesium and oxygen there. Like that. In fact, the carbon I'll keep with me. And this one we're going to decompose it again. Like that. Then we get 16 silicon and 32 oxygen. So we then come to here and we put this into there. And that'll give us 
16 for one of the for two of these so we're going to get uh, two stacks I think yeah two stacks of cobblestone like that so that process requires basically two decomposers and one synthesizer so that's what we're going to make I've already made the atomic manipulators because we've seen that already so let's do the synthesizer first can make one of those and then we're going to make the um, two decomposers that because they were in my inventory didn't go through it twice get rid of that okay we'll also need a a rationing pipe and you'll see why and we're also going to need another um cache i've actually produced some more caches as well to store i didn't show you that but it's not very exciting just some to store some of these uh mine chem chemicals out of the way especially the ones you get lots of so what we now need to do is to make another cache so i'll do that as well let's make it straightforward i've got enough tin great let's go make some more tin i've probably got enough by now but there's probably not there wasn't any at the time so tin is this one Let's put the tin into there, put the bucket back in again, and take the iron out of here. So we've got six iron, 96 iron, there we go. Okay, now remove that straight away. So that's our fourth. We'll let the rest of this do its business. Okay, so we've got one more cache like that. So we come down here and put the cache in. So what we're going to do, so this is busily producing lava and then producing obsidian, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the obsidian, oh, I'll probably need some transfer nodes as well. I will also need some power, which might be more difficult. Think about that a bit for a second or two. Um, I'm probably going to use a I'm not sure I'm going to do that for the time being. Well, maybe I have to make a sterling or something like that, and some pipes and some cables. So, we're basically coming out here and we're getting this. So, next thing we want to do is we want to take the transfer node, and I haven't got the transfer nodes with me. I've got pipe, one pipe, brilliant. I need to go upstairs. Like that. And we're going to put this is going to come up and it's going to be fed in that's going to be a transfer node it's going to be fed into the top of a synthesizer so if i now come along here and put my I don't think it'll work i do sorry decompose that so we need to decompose this first of all like that and then we also need to go up and it's going to come out of here and go up and come back to the next one i'm just going to put a block of something in the middle a block of dirt will do And then we're going to put the next synth decomposer here. Like that. Take that block a bit dirt back so I can put the next one in. And then we're going to put onto that the synthesizer. Like this. So we're going to get um, obsidian in here, which is going to make silicon silicon dioxide. That's going to we're going to filter out that and we're going to put it into here. And eventually, then we're going to that. We're going to so we're going to um, sorry, we're going to end up with silicon and oxygen in here, and then that's going to come into here. And this is where the rationing pipe comes into play. You put the rationing pipe onto the machine. That'd be a good idea if I stood in the dirt, wouldn't it? Like that, because then I can reach the top of the machine. And that wants to be on the machine itself. So like that. So let's go and get some more stuff that we need I've got to think about power I don't think I've got enough cable maybe I have actually let's have a look 10 probably not enough cables to start with but
I do need another cache as well, so we because I want to cache the um, magnesium oxide, and I also need some filters. Let's just clear that off. So that's empty, ready for next time. So if you remember, all the, what I'm trying to do here, that'll do, is to make, um, just to extend this round so we can actually fill in the, the wood generation automatically. So let's have a look. Oh, I didn't even pick up my pipes. That was not clever. Let me just go and pick up my pipes. Got 22 pipes in there. I'm going to need a transfer node, aren't I? So we need, and we're going to need some filters. Now a transfer node is one block of iron and one block of redstone in the assembly machine. Which we can do fairly quickly as it happens. Because all we need to do is to click that one and deselect that. And select that again. I'm going to deselect that so it makes sure it's doing the ender pearls. So we should have, oh we got one, we've actually got one ender pearl, brilliant. What I also found out today, we could actually decompose these um, elevators. If you decompose an elevator you'll get back ender pearls. Good trick. And that was from uh, Sounding Fiber. 64 underscore, right. Am I too close to this? Yes, probably. I think. Oh no, I think this is okay. Yep, yeah, you can do it like this. Good. That's going to come out the bottom of there. I'm going to put one on top of here actually, because and break it. I hope that's not too. Cl oh, that's okay. Oh, maybe it's not. Let's just see if we can actually change these directions. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I don't want it to go that way. So I need to move everything back one. Right, okay, let's do that. Pick out. If with these mine chem machines, if you get them too close together, it becomes a bit of a pain. So this is where I want the first mine chem machine in here, don't I? In fact, actually what I've done is actually not too bad as it happens. So we need to decompose that that. That'll come and that needs to go on the top of that. So we break that one and that one. In fact, we need those going up here like this. This is where the next machine is going to be. Oh, the decomposer is already in my hand, that's good. And then we're going to do the same thing again. Actually, we need one block. So if I just put one block on there like that, and then I need my piece of dirt or whatever, so I can stand on something. like this and then we can put the um, synthesizer here and on the top of the synthesizer we're going to put the rationing pipe and so this has got to go round, round from the bottom of this one into this one I missed that, didn't I? okay like that and then it's going to come out here which oh, I need, do need transfer nodes at the bottom so I haven't made anywhere near enough transfer nodes. So let's take this wants to come out the now I can break this one. So now we can get this into the top with a transfer node here. We need three we need a transfer oops, wrong one. Like that. So then that'll come out of here like this, one up. Yep, not where I want it to connect to, but I'll just put it on here like this, and then we can connect it up and break the other connection. We should be able to do that without too much of a problem. Like that. Um, actually, like this. Then we can break that one. So that can go into the top of there, and then it comes out of the bottom. So we basically need to reconfigure this one. It should be able to be possible like that. So that's about four clicks. So now we need to break, so it 
comes out of the bottom we don't want these going in here so basically we don't want things feeding back so that's good and the same in here we don't want it going to the right so let's make sure it doesn't go to the right which is correct so now it comes down through here this is where a node's got to be so and um, so that's got to go into the bottom there so we don't want it going that way and we don't want that going that way as you can see the pattern goes up like this and then it comes to there and the same again here so we don't want this going to the left hand side of this because it's going to come out the bottom isn't it and in here we don't want it going to the right hand side of this like that it doesn't matter that they've actually stayed joined because it's not going to go that way so let's prove that let's take this one off here like this and put in its place another node so we need one two three more nodes actually so transfer nodes so that means we need three blocks of iron and three blocks of redstone might as well make four so we've got four blocks of redstone like that node let's just turn off that one and that one we should get everything made fairly quickly turn that back on again like that this is the advantage of charging keeping this running even though it's trying to make interpols unsuccessfully because I keep interrupting it in the process don't I so we don't want this one either because the one at the bottom so now I've got to go down a block let's go down I think I can probably reach from here if I go down here uh, maybe I can reach all four, three of these. So, one of these there, one of these there, and one of these there. So that's going in that direction. Let's prove it. No, nope, I've put my, I've put my glowstone back again. So I'm going to put one for each of these. So I need four pieces of glowstone. I can never remember my direction when I'm coming out of there. So, so let's put one of those in there like that and you can see that's coming into the top of there this has got no power so it's not got any items to show us yet same with this one and the same with this one but what's going to happen here is we're going to take this out because we'll be getting cobblestone out of here and actually I've got cash with me, so let's put cash down here like this and feed this into here like this. And then we have to make sure that these things aren't connecting prop incorrectly. We can use the crescent hammer for doing this. So I want. that should be okay and I don't want it to go into the right like that so that should come in across and go down there that should come out of here uh, it doesn't go up as where I want it to go to that's right yes exactly that goes into there so out of here we want we don't want anything going to the right on this one so that's correct and the same here so we don't want anything going to the left on that one so that looks better as you can see looking from further afield it looks just about right and what this is going to do is going to prevent more than one stack going into here so let's just I need this here what we're going to do out of it is we're going to get two items out of here we're going to get silicon dioxide and magnesium di magnesium oxide so what I'm going to do is put down a piece of pipe here like that and then we can connect this cache to that and we need to filter it so that we don't, in fact I probably don't need to filter it actually, we can just probably put some magnesium oxide in here so it doesn't come in and maybe I do need to filter it mm. 
Hmm. We'll see what happens when I actually get this up and running. So now we need some power to this. Well, I've got to either make another sterling generator, which is probably a good idea anyway, or I can connect all of this power up to it from here, but that's quite a distance because I need to come from here, go along here and then go to each of these machines. See, this has now got 64 obsidian in there. So that's also got obsidian, but that's because of mistake. And this one doesn't. Good. So we don't really want this chest of stuff in here. Let's break this chest as well. So I'm going to put everything in there like that. So I need a better way of getting obsidian for other stuff out of it. Actually, I've got the tank here. That's fine. So, right. So now I need some more string for doing this. What I'm going to do after this is I'm going to, this is going to be cobblestone in here, and it's going to take, come along here, and I'm going to feed it all the way back into this chest here. Or maybe we just need to feed it into that, and then it'll go push, get pushed around. If I feed it into the middle here, like that, somewhere across here. We should be able to be all right. Let's have a look so I can do that up here and then like that, and then remove this transfer node, save me node, and some cables, and then we could feed it into the top here like this. So we could use this transfer node from here. I've got two like that and then take this going around the top of here oh, I think we should be able to got enough space to do this so you have to shift click it don't I and I want, don't want it to connect yet so that's the important thing so I go up high enough we won't, we won't connect and we come back along like, like this like that so if I can reach that I can't oh yes I can So that's the idea. But I need to get the power. And we'll set that up and I think we'll finish that. We'll see if we can get how far we can get with that today. Because that's basically got to connect into here. And then I want a round robin here as well. So let's go and get that set up. And in the meantime, before we do that, let's just decompose all of this. What have I got in my hand here that I don't want with me? Mint. I do want some dirt actually. I don't want the iron ingots and I didn't put this blazing pyrothium down oh, I do need that mint then where's it gone to let's go put that down before I forget as well oh actually no let's come along here let's put into this decomposer this end stone and let that run going down here and we're going to put a blazing pyrothium into a place so we're making more lava because at the moment <laughs> I've got all this set up and there's no lava being generated if I put that down there stand back because it's going to set everything on fire um, I'm trying to see where I want to put it which is just here like that and then put on top of that a slab and that's it so this is now all generating lava that's why we didn't see anything going through the blue pipe, by the way. Because it was not... There we go. Now we're seeing stuff coming through here because it's being filled up. 211 lava, good. Uh, obsidian. So let's go and get the next... All these nice colours, and I keep forgetting where to put the stuff, don't I? So let's put that into there. And you'll see we've got some Einsteinium and some Plutonium. Now, Plutonium is, is hardly reactive, but that's fine. We want Gallium and Arsenide. We've got 14 of those. That's great. Let's get the rest of this done. We've got two stacks of Beryllium. So the ones which are radioactive are fran Francium. And they don't... They actually carry on stacking till we take them out. So with that one, that one, these are the 
the radioactive one. So we'll put those two into here. This one actually simply makes blaze rods. So let's just one here, I think, or oh, blaze powders. We'll produce the ten blaze powders with that one, so we can safely have that. What I can't do is to find a way of getting calcium yet. So now, everything else in here is stable, I think. Lithium, oxygen, hydrogen, silicon, hydrogen, ruby, ruby done. Creates explosion if in water. Interesting. Sodium, zirconium, arsenic, gallium, and neodymium. Whatever that is, I have no idea. Let's just put stuff in here that, that we don't need. Brilliant we can put into this chest. Sodium, rubicum, lithium, silicon, actually silicon, yeah, and zirconium, and this nodium. I don't know what these are used for yet. But what we do can now do is we can make some gallium arsenide. arsenide. So that's basically one arsenide and one let's get out of the way what was that and we make a gallium arsenide so we get six 18 gallium arsenides or is it yeah 18 let's shift that into the here by the way and get into the book and so now with that we can actually make our quartz but what we want to make is a uh, Fluid crystals, don't we? So, what do we need for fluid crystals? That's the wrong one. This one. Yep, not that one, not that one, this one. So, we need some. Right, so this will make one. So, we we'll make, could make up to 18 of these. So, aluminium phosphate. So that shouldn't be too difficult. That's one aluminium, one phosphor, and four oxygen. So we need a stack of oxygen. Aluminium, we've got a stack of aluminium. Phosphate, P. Where do I get the P from? I think it was from glowstone. Glowstone, isn't it? Take a stack of that. And decompose it. Yes, it's phosphorus. Phosphorus, sorry. So, so now we need to make a phosphate. What was the recipe for phosphate? Of course, I've already forgotten. Phosphorus. Phosphate. Tell you what, I'm gonna have, I've got far already forgotten. So let's just do this again. Can we go back quicker this way? We can. Good. So aluminium PO4. Is that just a straightforward? Okay, aluminium and phosphorus. Phosphate. Go okay, we'll make the phosphate first. So we need another stack of oxygen. We've already got 32 actually, 64. Now oh, maybe just get some, yeah, where's it gone to? So we now have 32 phosphate. So now we need to put that in the book. If I haven't already done it, that is. So we now need some aluminium, which I've got here. Phosphate. And then we need about 18 of these, don't we? So I won't make too many. Eighteen. And the next thing we need has it gone two flux. This one. So so this is hydrogen phosphorus of times three. I think that might be. Oh yeah, okay. So it's hydrogen 
phosphate. Just checking that. So that's phos. Oh, da -da. Okay, so that's good. So it's everything in a row. So hydrogen. Let's take a stack of hydrogen. Oh, oops! Just put the hydrogen down. That was not clever. Pick it up again. I have to get in the right position for doing this. It does happen from time to time when you're careless. That's it. Good. Should have them back again. So let's put the hydrogen in, and I've got hydrogen into here. So we need two of those: one phosphorus and two oxygen. If I remember rightly, and I've got any oxygen. I wanted to get the oxygen out. That's where I'm, that's where I made my mistake. By the way, shift clicked on there like that. We want about 18, so let's just halve that. Actually, we need 36, don't we? Okay, we got 32 because we need to double it. And then aluminium on this one, I think. Let's put this into the book. So it was aluminium phosphate, wasn't it? So aluminium phosphate, aluminium, I need this in here. Take a stack of that because it doesn't matter that much. Oh, I've already got it in the synthesizer. Um, one of those, and I think it's one of those. Two, three, actually, yes. And that's going to give me this aluminium phosphate. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've got it wrong, I've got it wrong. So do we need some more phos phosphate? Okay, so that means we need some more glowstone. But I might have enough. We only need two crystals. In fact, where's my that one? Yeah. Thought we can t could happily turn this into phosphorus. No big deal. Anyway, because it looks like we're using it reasonably. That's probably why we're getting so much anyway. But I wanted this one and I haven't put that into the book yet. Good. So let's get the book out and put them into the book the recipe for phosphorus. Not phosphorus or phosphate. Oops. What have I just done? Honestly. That's okay. one here what am I missing hydrogen I guess yep okay so we don't that sort of should be enough actually now let's just shove that in there as well I think now we've got everything we need to make some fluid crystals. Whew, hard work, let's tell you. So, right. I'm not even sure this is actually the best way of doing it anyway, so let's have a look at the fluid crystal recipe again. So, gallium arsenide, two aluminium phos hypophosphate, and one aluminium phosphate. Okay, one aluminium phosphate. One gallium arsenide. And this one here, we need two of those. And that'll make this. So we've got what we need. Let's go and put this into the book. That was reasonably hard. So now we can actually go and make our extra cables. We will make us four. So we need two sets of this, I think. We can join these together. In fact, let's not do that. Let's go and finish this off properly. I'm running out of time already, as usual. I would like to make take the phosphorus out of it. Right, 
those are those two and we're going to make some actually we'll make some dirt have we got any silicon dioxide i think no i haven't i'll just quickly go and get a block of obsidian I'm always going the wrong direction. It's quite right, sixteen. And what I'm going to do is make some dirt. Now, dirt is I'll clear this recipe off here. It's just one of those in the corner. That will make a sixteen. Got seventeen in total. I'm going to go outside, and I need some. Actually, I need some grass blocks, don't I? Oops. Now, grass blocks, I'm not exactly sure. They're fairly straightforward, actually, the recipe for glass blocks. grass blocks. Let's have a look. So it's just one cellulose with um, oxygen and silicon. That's even simpler, actually. Let's go back here. Cellulose, we should have over here anyway. You, and you're going to guess what I'm going to do, aren't you? So silicon here, oxygen here, and let's take silicon. What was it? Cellulose I needed. This one. So cellulose with silicon and oxygen. I think it was two oxygen, wasn't it? Nope, not quite right. What have I done wrong? Oh, oxygen, silicon, the other direction. Don't seem to have enough oxygen, actually, but that's fine. Silicon, where's it gone to? There. Grass blocks. Oh, it gives me 16. Actually, it's quite a generous recipe, that one. We'll take 32, and we'll go and get some bone meal. Half a stack of bone meal will be fine. Let's go out to here quickly. Oops, I've nearly missed my oxygen there. Didn't spot that. Let's put that into there quickly and get the two tanks out of here. Put what? Put the other one in here. Just break that piece of fluids I put down here. That wasn't smart either. Right. Well, is that hard work today? So let's just. What I want is one piece of red colour. What we're going to do is we're going to fill in this hole over here because it's a bit of a nuisance. As you know, I think I did this when I was doing my testing as well. Oops. Filled in exactly the same hole. And did exactly the same thing. That'll do. Bone meal. All I want is red, one red dye, really. There we go. That'll do fine. We'll just shift that into the pulverizer and we'll get six. Six or four, I'm not sure exactly. Four, right, okay. So we just need to make the other cables and then we can finish it off. And then I'm going to call it a day because I think we've done reasonably well this time as it happens. So, one, two, I've got another crystal. Oh, okay. And that's normally one die, isn't it, in the middle? Just as a guess and putting this around the outside like that. Gives me eight. Fine. So that's how we do it. So I'll stick these onto here like this, and it's connected up. And I've got four more, and I can't count. I didn't need it anyway. So what I can then do is to put a, an export bus on here, a fluid export bus. Let's get one of those out. Which one is it? Fluid. This one. Um, I can't, I need to stand on 
something. Let's upload. So basically what we want is to put the fluid input onto here like this and then connect this up like that. We can then relieve this tank, we don't need this tank anymore, but we do need some water to say we need some to get some water. Let's break this block, I don't need that anymore. One bucket of water. And sure enough, that's filling up. Fantastic. Let's remove this now. I don't need this tank on there. So. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A bit long today, 41 minutes. Don't like to be long that long. Anyway, until next time, bye for now.